Today, we are diving deep into a head-to-head -head comparison of two of the most talked about Core XY 3D printers of the year, the Creality K1C and the Flash Forge Adventurer 5M Pro. Both are fast, both are smart, but which one actually gives you more bang for your buck? Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're into 3D printing reviews, comparisons, and tips, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Now, let's get into it. Both the K1C and the 5M Pro use a Core XY motion system, which is all about speed and stability. K1C, up to 600 mm per second with 20,000 mm per second acceleration. 5M Pro, also 600 mm per second, but with minimal ringing due to better vibration damping. On paper, speed looks the same. But in practice, the 5M Pro tends to deliver more consistent results at high speeds due to better out-of-the-box tuning. Build Volume For K1C is 220 by 220 by 250 mm, and for 5M Pro is 220 by 220 by 220 mm. Not a huge difference, but the K1C offers more Z height. The K1C is fully enclosed with activated carbon filter and optional air purifier and the 5M Pro also enclosed but has HEPA 13 filter and dual-channel air circulation. Now, for hot end and material compatibility, the K1C has a 300 degrees Celsius hardened steel nozzle and supports carbon fiber, nylon, PC. And the 5M Pro goes up to 280 degrees Celsius, is more user-friendly but less focused on exotic materials. The K1C has AI-assisted leveling, LiDAR, webcam, Creality OS. The 5M Pro instead is fully automatic bed leveling, quieter, and has a more intuitive UI. As for the noise levels, the K1C is quiet, but fans can be loud. But the 5M Pro is one of the quietest printers out there, around 30 decibels. Now for software, with K1C, you have many options you can use Creality Print, Cura, OctoPrint, Orca Slicer, and also have the app. But with 5M Pro, you only have FlashPrint 5, App Integration, and Cloud Print. Now for the filament exchange, here is the big difference. For K1C is an easy process. Press extract, remove the filament, unlock the extruder and insert new one, then lock it in and press extrude, and you're good to go. But on the 5M Pro, you have to disconnect Bowden tube, and then you have to cut the filament, press load to extrude the rest of the old filament left in the extruder, reconnect Bowden tube, and then insert the new filament and press load again. With this method always, it will leave a piece of the old filament in nozzle. This is a major usability flaw in the 5M Pro. There's no proper way to extract filament from the extruder. In my opinion, it's a poor design choice. I printed the same test models on both the Creality K1C and the FlashForge 5M Pro to evaluate print quality, dimensional accuracy, and overhang performance. For the K1C, excellent surface finish on high-speed prints, overhangs handled very well, even at steep angles. Dimensional accuracy was spot on, with minimal tuning. Small details and sharp corners came out very clean. And on 5M Pro, also impressive quality, especially at standard speeds. Overhangs were acceptable, but showed a bit more sag. Slight elephant's foot on first layers, but nothing major. Fewer ringing artifacts at high speeds thanks to better damping. Overall, both printers produce very good results, but if you're printing fast and need fine detail, the K1C has a slight edge. 
The 5M Pro compensates with smoother walls and quieter operation. Now comes the pros and cons. K1C Pros, fast and accurate, supports engineering filaments, intuitive filament handling, built-in webcam and AI, flexible software. Cons, louder fans, Creality software can be clunky, slightly higher price. 5M Pro Pros, quiet operation, good for classroom, safe HEPA filtration, polished UI, reliable print quality. 5M Pro Cons, poor filament change design, limited to flash print, less capable with advanced materials. And finally, the conclusion. At the end of the day, both printers are great, but they target different users. The K1C is for makers and engineers. The 5M Pro is better for beginners and quiet environments. But personally, that filament change design on the 5M Pro is a big miss. It's one of those day-to-day -day things that really matters. If you found this helpful, give the video a like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you don't miss the next one. Thanks for watching.